Trigonometry in any triangle. This is a further maths GCSE question, which is a level two qualification. It's on a calculator exam, so you're allowed to use your calculator. And this question is about um, trigonometry in any triangle. So we are told the area of this triangle is 18 centimeters squared, and we've got to work out why. Um, to start with, don't really know how that's going to work. Um, I'm guessing we need to work out what W is first and then use that to find Y using maybe the cosine rule. But because we're told the area of the triangle is 18, this is any triangle, it's not a right angle triangle, it's not an easy one to do the area of, um, we should be uh, familiar with the formula for the area of a triangle where we're given an angle and the two sides either side of it. Um, that is given to you at the front of the exam paper and you're told that that's um, the area equals a half a b sine c. So if this this is the angle c, this is little a, this is little b, doesn't actually matter which way around a and b are, but the area which is 18 is a half of a which is just w times b which is 2w times the sine of the angle between them which is 30 degrees. Okay. Um, you may not know that sine of 30 is a half, but you can use your calculator for this. So we've got 18, let's just use the calculator anyway. Let's put it over here. Um, so we've got a half of W times 2W. Well, a half of 2 is just 1. So we've got W times W, which is W squared. And the sine of 30, as I told you, is just equal to a half. So we've got a half of a w squared equals 18, so w squared equals 36, so w equals the square root of 36. Now normally we would take two answers, a plus and minus, but as this is a physical situation, you can't have a minus length, so w must be 6, so this side must be equal to 6, and this side must be equal to 12. Okay, so if you've got those answers there, you've got um, two marks already. Then uh, I think we're going to do some um, cosine rule here, so we need to know the cosine rule as well. Again, that's given to you, and you're told that um, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos the angle a. Um, now, in this question, we use this as c, but I'm going to change that to b a. Um, let's rub these out. Um, uh, the, um, if that's the angle A, the opposite side is the little a, and the other two sides, so let's make that one B and that one C, I always tend to make B the smaller of the two, it doesn't actually matter which one's which, um, only that A is opposite the angle, little a is opposite the angle big A. So uh, little a is Y, which is what we want. Um, B squared is going to be 6 squared, C squared is 12 squared, minus 2 times 6 times 12 times the cos of the angle 30, which again we know is a half, oh no, the sine was a half, so the cos is root 3 upon 2, but we can use, again, we can use the calculator to do all that, we don't need to know these these things on a calculator test. So 6 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 6 times 12 times the cosine of the angle between them, 30, equals uh, 55.29 dot, dot, dot. so there's, there's more stuff there so y is just going to be the square root of that 5.29 I've left that in the calculator so I can just do the square root of that answer square root of the answer and that gives me 7.435 now normally I'd write all that down but the calculator is going to disappear when I do that so it's going to do 7. Um, four. I think it rounds to 4.4 four three significant figures. Okay, so um, if you if you substitute to that form, if you've got that bit written out, that's the third mark, um, fourth mark for getting to here, and fifth mark, accuracy mark for your answer, um, to get all five marks.